straight for the janitor's closet studio in the basement of DeVry University. It's the Janitor Dwight Podcast. two-time Super Bowl champion. A final star turn it is for Peyton. And the Denver Broncos have taken Super Bowl 50. That's the Dwight Show. As you have heard, the uh, Denver Broncos have won the Golden Mop. Uh, And thank God, because Cam Newton is a fucking tool, and he's a bitch motherfucker, and I hate him. I hate that cocksucker. Let's see him dance now. Why don't you go out there and dab a little, you motherfucker? Oh, wait, you can't because you lost. Now go cry in the locker room, you son of a bitch. All right, now that that's out of the way, uh, we got calls to do. Tonight, uh, we're going to be calling down to Charlotte and uh, wishing them, uh, you know, happy Super Bowl victory. Oh, wait a minute. They didn't win. Ha, ha, ha. So we're going to fucking talk to them about that. Yeah. Shit's about to go down. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, you got the ad on the Craigslist? Yes. Yeah. So I was calling because um, I, I want to rent your couch. Yes. Because um, I just got kicked out of my, my girlfriend's apartment. Uh-huh. Was, we, had, we had some differences. We argued a little bit, so I felt well, it was necessary. Well, you called me with an anonymous number. Huh? Your number didn't show no, up on my phone. No, that's because that's because I have the Obama phone and I don't pay for caller ID. I never heard of that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an extra five dollars a month for the caller ID. Oh, they card charge you extra for caller ID. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I never heard of such a thing until I got this phone. They're like, "Yeah, you yeah. want caller ID? Five dollars more." Oh. Um, but yeah, my girlfriend kicked kicked me out, so I gotta find a place to to go. She kicked you out, and you actually left. I had to. I had to. She, there was some domestic issues. She was a uh, uh, a Broncos fan, and they just won a Super Bowl. So I punched her in the fucking eye. <laughs> no, you did. I did. I fucking Gosh. I punched her in the fucking eye, and now like she's I'm calling the cops. I'm like, fine, I'm out of here. So now I gotta have a place to lay low. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so you're not a valid person, huh? No, no. Only only when she was she was back talking she, the whole game. She's like, oh, look at that. Look at that. He's sacked again, sacked again. And I said, you listen, bitch. You do it again. I gave her fair warning. Well, I'm not into violence. I'm sorry. What about uh, just wrestling, like playing around rough sex? No, because I could pay you no, with se- I could pay you with sex until I start my job. Oh, well, she hung up. Thanks for calling Rock and Roll. How you doing? This is Adam Scheffler calling from ESPN Radio. How are you tonight? Uh-huh. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Listen, I'm covering the uh, the conclusion to the Super Bowl, and I wondered if you had any Panthers fans in there that I could talk to and maybe get a comment from. Um, I'm sure you could. Oh, that would be fantastic if you could make that happen. Okay, hold on one second. Thank this you. This is ESPN Radio. They want to talk to Hello. Hi, how you doing tonight? This is Adam Scheffler, ESPN Radio. Yes, sir. What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot here. Uh, we're doing a quick story. We're going to do a write-up, and uh, we want to talk to some of the Panther fans and get their reaction uh, from the game tonight. Did you watch the game? Yes, sir. I sure did. Okay, and uh, what was your uh, your thought on the outcome of the game? I think uh, I think the odds were in Vegas. The odds were in Vegas. Yeah, I think Vegas had a lot to do with it. Uh, you think they possibly uh, got to one of the referees or maybe one of the players? Nah, I, I wouldn't. Man, you know how it goes, man. Politics, money talks, bullcrap walks, bro. Right. And do you believe uh, Peyton Manning will be retiring now? Oh yeah. Peyton Manning's going to go out with a bang. 
Okay. And did you hear? Uh, we just had the breaking news come in uh, that Cam Newton, Newton uh, excuse me, Cam Newton is requesting a trade. Cam Newton is requesting a trade. Yes, he's requesting to be traded. Uh, when would that happen? Just now? Uh, yes, sir. We have from reporters in the locker room. He requested wow, to be traded. Wow, damn, that's cool. Uh, and he asked. To I don't tra- think that'll happen, though. Well, he's asking. Uh, well, more like demanding to be traded to the de- or I'm sorry, the Cleveland Browns. He said they know how to win there. What? Yes, I mean this is about to go across Sports Center in the next uh, 20 minutes. Okay. And uh, what is your reaction to that? Man, that's amazing, man. If Cam, if Cam won that like that, man, Cam could take his ass somewhere else. Yeah. What do you think about his dabbing and his dancing? Do what? Oh, I, that didn't bother me, man. You know, he's a young man, man, making millions and millions of dollars a game, man. Shit. Let him do what he got to do. He ain't, he, ain't put, you know, he ain't walking around with his pants down and acting like a thug and shit, like I, Ivan Iverson. Right. And uh, I just got a couple more questions. What do you think about, what is your opinion on the Denver Broncos fan base? Uh, man, I, I can't even tell you nothing about that. I'm from Charlotte, man. We don't have no Denver Broncos fans out here too much. Okay, well, what's your input on the uh, fan base of the Panthers? Oh, man, they off the chain. They off the chain? Yeah. Are they as dumb as you, motherfucker? Because this isn't ESPN. Go Broncos, you I cocksucker. Know that, Go Broncos, ah! you son of a bitch. Hey. What? Hey. What? I am a son of a bitch. Mother, yeah, fuck you, you asshole. Hey. Fuck you, motherfucker. Why don't you come fuck me? Ah, you sorry son of I a will. bitch. I will. I will, and without lubrication. Will you? Come I on. I will. I, I got something for you. What do you got? Come and, come and see. I got a beer enema for you, you son of a bitch. I got, I got an ass whooping for you. How about that? Yeah, well, I'm going to dip a fucking tampon in some uh, vodka and put it up your asshole. Oh, oh, you're funny, you stupid motherfucker. How many you had to that's drink? Why your, that's why your mama disowned you. I fucked your mama, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, son. That's why you didn't win the Super Bowl, you dumb motherfucker. Hey, son. Hey, son. What? Hey, son. Huh? Hey, son. Yeah. You a matter dad. Well, what? You know what a matter? You a matter dad? No, I'm not a Southern hick. I don't know what the fuck that is. You a matter dad? Nothing, son. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What grade did Take you? What grade did you fail out of? Off to your Denver. What grade did you fail out of, sir? <laughs> it worked pretty well uh, during the NBA Finals last year. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling Carolina Hill House Uptown Show as well. I can help you. Uh, good evening. This is Adam Scheffler calling from ESPN Radio. Hey, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, listen, we're doing a write-up on the conclusion of the Super Bowl and was wondering if there was any Panthers fans available that I could talk to and get a quote from. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Could you hold, please? I sure can. Thank you. Thanks, Holmes. Gene, may I help you? How you doing, Gene? This is Adam Scheffler calling from ESPN Radio. Yep, and uh, I was calling to speak to a Panthers fan to get a quote uh, from our little write-up here for after the Super Bowl. This is a diehard Panther fan since oh, 97. Oh, fantastic, 97. Yes, indeed. Oh, All yes. right. Um, can I get uh, just just your first name will do? D-E-E-D. D, okay. Yep. Um, what is, uh, well, first, what is your reaction to the way the game turned out tonight? You know what? Uh, be it good or bad as far as the, the ending of it, being a true diehard Panther fan, you know we struggled in the beginning for quite some time. But now I think we finally got it for the past two years, going to the end of the last season, going into this season, knowing after every single game, you know, we're playing game by game. Mm -hmm. We have a winning spirit no matter what. Fantastic. Um, Do you believe uh, with the current investigation into Peyton Manning and the use of HGH, do you think it's going to taint the way this game was played if they find out uh, that he indeed was taking HGH? You know, overall, tonight, I believe our our offense could have stepped up a little bit more. Um, that game was won by more than just Peyton Manning. It was won by his defense altogether. Okay. So, uh, him, the controversy, the outcome itself was not just by just Peyton Manning. It was the team altogether. All right, fantastic. And uh, are you aware of the breaking news regarding Cam Newton? Uh, no. 
Okay. Uh, let me fill you in real quick, and we'll get a reaction. Okay. Uh, he is actually on his way to a uh, local hospital. Uh, apparently, oh, wow. he was in the uh, locker room, and there was a scuffle uh, between oh, he no. and Ted Ginn Jr. Uh, apparently, oh, no. uh, Ted Ginn Jr. was blaming Cam Newton for the loss. Uh, oh, wow. There was a shoving match. Cam Newton then dabbed in uh, Ted Ginn Jr.'s face. And uh, Ted Ginn Jr. pushed him into the shower room where he slipped and hit his head. He was unconscious. Oh, no. Are you serious? Yes, and he is uh, currently being taken to the hospital. So what was what would be your Adam, reaction to uh, that? This, as a true diehard Panther fan, it's a resemble of Cam Newton... Cam Newton as a, a beginner. Mm-hmm. Because he, he did, he did survive, he did survive that uh, rollover crash in his truck not too long yes, ago. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I think that's one thing that Cam struggles with. He's always struggled with is, you know, the, his competitiveness. Right. The arrogance itself, he's gotten better at, but this is a, a true reflection of where we want to begin well, the Cam report Newton. the reports that are coming from our people in the locker room was uh, uh, Ted Ginn again was in the right to do this uh, apparently Cam Newton pulled out a knife oh, no. and was defending himself oh no yeah. very very uh, uh, very sad situation oh no and uh, so I was I was just letting you know uh, a little bit of inf- information. We're going to do a little write-up. And uh, I'm actually going to be uh, putting tidbits of this call on the radio. Uh, could you uh, say a phrase for me just so I could have it and put it on the radio there when we cut it up? As far as the, uh, the restaurant uh, stuff? Uh, well, no, just go ahead. And, well, we'll do that, too. We'll let you do a okay. little plug and stuff, too. But uh, say I'm a diehard Panthers fan, but I'm a dumb motherfucker because this isn't ESPN. Fucking hate this. I'm a Broncos fan, you son of a bitch. I go, fucking hate you. Go Broncos. Fuck this is. Go fucking Broncos. You fucking asshole, whoever the fuck you are. Yeah, you're standing there with your dick in your hand, aren't you, boy? You motherfucker. Oh you no. Oh no. Man. You see how that shit happens? Fuck you, whoever the fuck That's, you are. That right there is why you won't never win a Super Bowl. Yeah, you know what? Well, it is what it is, but yeah. guess what? What? We'll be there again, and I hope your ass call back again. You I, I fuck. sure as fuck will. You watch. It's my job. Uh, what the fuck is this? I'm getting, like, shit from my fucking Xbox app. Hang on, let me see what this is. They, they want to sure. interrupt the fucking show. Let's accept this. Hey. Man. Hey, what do you want? Hey. You're interrupting my show, goddammit. Shouldn't have joined. Well, I'm doing a prank call show and you're fucking interrupting it. Well, too bad. Motherfucker. You sound like a fucking weenie, yo. Yeah, well, you can sit there. I'm going to do my show. You shut the fuck up and don't interrupt it. <laughs> All right. So we got these weenies on Xbox Live right now, people. Yeah, you got a couple hundred people listening to your dumb asses. So let's go ahead and call the uh, next sports bar make fun of the Carolina Panthers fans. Woo, woo. Shut the fuck up. You're ruining the shit. They can't hear you, or they can hear you. Fucking it up. Man, your mom must have molested you a lot. When she you did. Know. Fucking deal with it. And this motherfucker keeps inviting me back to... Alright, we're gonna fucking address this again. <laughs> Goddamn Xbox kids invite me out of nowhere. I don't even know who the fuck they are. Fucking disconnected. Well, they're or not, are you on your Xbox? No, it's my the Xbox app on my computer. Oh. They, they are nobody. I, motherfucker. Hey. Well, it's not connected yet. Well, what the <laughs> fuck do you want? <laughs> Is it like a fifth year old? <laughs> a fifth year old. You mean a five year old? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> we got some real <laughs> fucking <laughs> intellectual <laughs> types on here. <laughs> what, the <fuck? laughs> what the hell is this shit? You got school tomorrow, kid. Go to fucking bed. Stop hey, past your bed. Work in the factory, you poor beaner. You go, to, you go to bed, or I'm gonna spank your mom's ass and make her put you to bed. 
All right, hang on. I got a message from our listeners right now. This is why you mute chat. Got a message when from your bean Shut friend? the fuck up. I'm doing something. This is why you mute, you mute fuckers when you play Xbox. Always 10 year olds and shit on it. Get a fucking life, dude. What the fuck are you calling a kid? You fucking 12 year old Sesame Street watching motherfucker. Now, you go and look at the fucking Sears catalog, jerk your fucking dick for a little bit, and shut the fuck up. And that's how you fucking deal with that shit. <laughs> Boom! Dropped the mic and fucking left that chat. Mm. Oh, shit! <sighs> God damn it! These kids got hobo internet, so they don't even uh, won't even connect. Uh, me enjoying. All right, you little cocksuckers. What do you oh, want man. now? <laughs> what do you want to do? Nothing better to do. <laughs> The fuck you, out of here, man. So we can hear you complain. Okay, listen, I'll rape you. Right, if you have a little so sister, bad. I'll rape your little sister. I'll rape your mother. That's not I'll rape your grandma. Like that. You can't you talk understand? like that on my network. I'll rape. Listen, dude, I'll dude, rape. I'll rape. Motherfucking shit. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, he sounds like a wanker. You fucking wanker. A wanker. Don't mow a lawn, motherfucker, kid. Hear that, everyone? You call me a wanker. Buddy. Next, bitch. Yeah. Aww. So you done jerking off already? What? What's the deal? <laughs> you guys playing that Black Ops 3? Oh, it's so fantastic. Oh. What are you playing, Pokemon? 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 That's the shit, man. I'm going to play some Mario Kart, Wiener. too. I love me some Mario Kart. <laughs> Call Jack Morgan up in this. <laughs> You're bad, kid. Oh, yeah? Is that it? Wait, how old are you? 50? Is really? That it? Yeah. Old enough Dude, to I'll fuck school your you in fucking Pokemon, so you old bitch. You, you, you do what? You'll school me in Minecraft? Is that what you said? No, in Pokemon, <laughs> you old bitch. I said Pokemon, you old Poke punk your mom? Idiot. What the fuck is poke your mom? <laughs> if I'm gonna poke your mom, I'm just gonna fucking slam her all the way. I'm just gonna go. Oh, this shit. <laughs> All oh, that. I give her all ten inches. There's no poking going on. More like two. Oh more like two. Wait, you want to come over and inspect it? Yeah, I want it. No, I'm good on that. You come on over. You better bring both hands, motherfucker, and open wide. Ah, ah, you do all that shit. Both hands. Yeah. More like and I, I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you start playing with my dick and you don't cup the balls, we're gonna have a fucking issue. <laughs> you give the boys some attention. I'm dying, bro. You know what? I would rape your mom, but your mom's such a big fucking whore, she'll give it right up. Doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> so you just mull that over a little bit. I'm gonna do some more calls. <laughs> I should have sent him to the fucking glory hole foundation. All right, now that we've addressed that fucking problem again. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck yeah, who's this? It's your daddy. Oh, it's your mama, bitch. You don't talk to Dwight like that. Mm, listen, Charlie. Can I call you Charlie, or would you like me to call you Charles there, Butterball? Charlie. Listen, Charles, does he know you? I'm gonna come on over, and I'm gonna bring some country crock butter with me. I'm gonna spread it all over your butt cheeks and slap it. Charles, does he know you? Yeah, he knows oh, my dad. Yeah, I'm his father. I used he to says, fuck elephants and Charles. shit. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so what I like that to do is go down to the glory hole. Doing anything. I go to the glory hole and pour him, right? And I just put my dick in this yeah. hole and then some mouth wraps it around there. Like, uh, fuck yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And then they're like, I'm like, are you a man? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, a hole's a hole. And I just fucking keep going. Oh, yeah. I still have yet to see how they fucking know me. Like, they're just adding me. How do you know me, motherfuckers? <laughs> wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? Yeah, you ever did fucking Mexican ditch fighting? I'm gonna do some of that shit. 
That's where we go and we get blindfolded, both of us, right? And we nail a big fucking nail through a two by four and we just swing and shit and see who gets fucked up first. That's how I roll. Crazy like that. Oh my god. GTA 5 prepared oh me god. for this shit. Crazy. You want to get crazy? You don't want to get crazy with me. I'll rape you. <laughs> Who let the fucking chipmunk in here? <laughs> oh my god. Are you gonna be fucking alright, kid? You gotta breathe. <laughs> breathe. See, watch, I keep saying breathe and you're gonna keep laughing. I hope you fucking pass out. Now eat a dick. <laughs> Hi, Adam Scheffler, Hello. ESPN News. How are you tonight, ma'am? Fine, how are you? Not too bad. Listen, uh, I'm calling to do a write-up about the Super Bowl, the uh, conclusion of the game. You got any Panthers fans I could talk to? Yes, no. fine. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Not today, not today. <laughs> Motherfucker, you fucking my car. Hello? Hi, how you doing? You. Adam Scheffler from ESPN Radio. Oh, okay. How you doing today? Not too bad. How are you? Well, you know, I'm a little disappointed about my boys, but, you know, I'm hanging in there. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. Um, <clears throat> I was calling to uh, uh, talk to you. Did you hear about the uh, what happened after the game with Cam Newton? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, yeah, there's breaking news about to come across at any moment. Uh, apparently, there was a uh, big scuffle between teammates in the Panthers' locker room. Wow. Um. Apparently, we had to, we had a sideline reporter in there, and they're saying that Cam Newton was quoted as saying, and excuse my language, fuck this team, this team will never be a winner, I'm getting traded, I'm out of this motherfucker, and then he dabbed in uh, Ted Ginn Jr.'s face. That's not that's not good sportsmanship right there. No, I mean, not I... at all, not at all, and uh, so I wanted to get your take on uh, what uh, occurred. Well, I, for, me, for me not seeing it, I can't give a... a true based opinion on, on, on the inside of it, but mm -hmm. I can say that, uh, I mean, understanding how angry he is, uh, it's, it's, this is just one, this is one loss. I mean, you know, this is, you gave it your all, you know, we was here for you, you know, we, we cheered for you, and, uh, but, you know, showing on sportsmanship, it, it, it just shows that, you know, uh, that that you know what that that you you don't believe in us like we like right. we wasn't here you know from day one with you you know we was we we understand you know it happens I mean truthfully if you were in my opinion I I I could say it was political or something that you know that he lost I don't know but uh, they gave it they all they gave it they gave it their best and you know we still here and we still supporting them I mean right and he went he uh, apparently the coach did go in and tried to calm him down you know let cooler heads prevail. Uh, and he was also quoting, uh, or quoted as telling the coach, you better back the fuck up or I'm going to put this mop up your ass. Wow. Yeah, it was quite, well, the, quite the dilemma. They closed the locker room, they got all the reporters out, uh, but not before this incident occurred. And this is this is nationally uh, said on, uh, it's recorded or is it? Yeah, it, they're, they're putting the, uh, the video montage together. Uh, they're getting all the experts together. They're getting ready to go live on ESPN uh, Sports Center. And uh, it's going to be in the recap. Wow, I, well, I'm, I have no words. Then I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm definitely sorry to hear that. I, it, it really hurts me to hear that. Yeah, apparently yeah. he he was telling people that he had already put in a uh, requested trade uh, to go join the New York Jets. New York Jets. Wow. Wow, I, I, this is this is all new to me. I, I don't even I, I don't know how I could take this right now. I don't know how to take it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, um, and I, I don't know uh, how to put this delicately, but because uh, we've had this issue a few times before, uh, because you're a dumb fucking Panthers fan, and none of this is real, and this isn't ESPN. So you need to eat a dick. Okay, thank you. I I, I truly appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, Go Broncos. Yeah. Okay. Suck uh, on a on a Bronco dick. Uh, uh, thank you for your um, wash it down with some Bronco piss. I appreciate your sportsmanship. Thank you. Okay, now you go rub your head and go. How did this happen? How did this happen? But isn't this uh, Peyton's last year though? So I mean, what, what you gonna do about next year? You gonna you gonna bandwagon the Panthers? We're gonna get Johnny Manziel. Okay, okay. That's but, all we gotta uh, do. 
We're gonna put we're gonna put some HGH in them like we did Peyton, and uh, we're just gonna get it going. I I would have said Aaron Rodgers if anything, or maybe Breeze. Like I, I, Manziel, he's still growing. He, I give him another two years and he'd be in there, maybe. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Newton's going to the Jets. I mean, I, until I see the news, I, I mean, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> Thank you for calling in the wind. Hi, uh, Adam Scheffler, ESPN Radio. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Listen, uh, I'm doing a little story on the Super Bowl tonight and was wondering if there was any Panthers fans I could talk to. Um. Yes, hold on. Just a second. Thank you. I do have a Panther fan here for you to talk to. Oh, fantastic. All right. Her name is Karen Reed. Hold on, please. All right. And we have one Bronco fan. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> one oh. of each still hanging in here. Yeah, they're in dangerous territory. Uh, that's right. He's been the only one. We even have a, a body of an outline of a dead Bronco out there, but unfortunately it's us. So hold on. I want you to talk to our number one Panther fan here in the Huntersville. Hold on. Okay. Hello, radio station. Hi, how are you? Adam Scheffler, ESPN Radio. Hi, Adam. Uh, I was calling just to uh, get a few comments on tonight's uh, uh, festivities. Uh, what did you think about the outcome of the game tonight? What do I think? Yes. I'm disappointed. I'm sad. We should have won it, but we didn't. Okay, and did you see uh, uh, tonight uh, Cam Newton actually had uh, written on his uh, his forearm uh, hashtag uh, SP3RM, uh, which was dedicated to his mother. Yes. And uh, what did you think about that? I didn't. I didn't see that. You didn't see that. Uh, and did, what did he do? Oh, I, uh, with a sharpie, he wrote on his forearm uh, hashtag SP3RM, which I guess was dedicated uh, to his mother. Yeah. How cool. That was sweet. That yeah. would be sweet. Yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty sweet that he uh, wrote hashtag sperm for his mother. Yes. Uh, so, Cam Newton, uh, he was very vocal in the locker room tonight. He uh, actually came out and said that uh, this would be his last year in uh, in Charlotte. He said he is going to take his uh, skills to another city uh, and demanded a trade right there and then in the locker room in front of all of his uh, <clears throat> all of his teammates. Uh, what do you think about that? Wow. Yet again, I didn't see that. Yeah, well, this this was uh, on video. We had some sideline reporters inside, and this is going to be going live on Sports Center in the next 20 minutes. Uh-huh. And uh, so I just wanted to see if you had uh, any thoughts of him demanding a trade uh, and also blaming uh, Ted Ginn Jr. Uh, for the loss. He actually said, you're the reason we lost. Oh, jeez. That's not cool. No, not not at all. I mean, I, I feel like that it, it just wasn't in the cards for us to win tonight. Mm -hmm. But for him to go in there, it just sounds like that he's being all about himself yet again. Yeah, it, it escalated like, quickly because uh, there was a short scuffle and fist fight. And uh, the uh, local police department handcuffed Cam. And took him to the precinct. Tonight? Yes. They're in California? Correct. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Uh, they went ahead and uh, booked him. And apparently he is sitting in a holding cell uh, waiting for an attorney uh, to prepare for, to have him uh, basically to bail him out. They're going to come down with the bail, uh, get him out of really? there. Really? Yes. And if you f feel free to let the other people know that Cam Newton was arrested, if you would like right now. Hey, do you know Cam Newton was arrested? Cam Newton was arrested. For what? For, like, what was he arrested for? He, he punched uh, Ted Ginn Jr. and he also uh, knocked out he the Panthers Ted coach. He punched Ted Ginn Jr. and blamed Panthers him for losing the freaking Super Bowl. And he punched out his own coach. And he punched his own coach? Yep, knocked him unconscious. He's going to the hospital. Rivera? Yep. He punched out Rivera. 
Yep. Uh, well, Rivera was trying to break him up. And Cam, Cam Rivera said. Rivera was trying to break him up. Yeah, Cam said, get your fucking hands punched. off me. And he punched Rivera in the face. And he punched Rivera in the face. No way. Yeah. That's very, very so unfortunate. unsportsmanlike. That's unacceptable. Yes. Let's see some shots. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't believe it myself. And uh, the reason why is none of this fucking happened. Go Broncos, you dirty bitch. <laughs> he said that? No, no, I'm saying that. This isn't even real. I'm not in with ESPN. I'm with the Broncos, bitch. Go Broncos. Why are you calling me a bitch? I don't know. You sound kind of hot. Like, how big are your knockers? Huh? How big are your tits? Who is this? I'm just some um, dirty pervert with a phone. I'm the butthole bandit. I'm a Broncos fan and I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dwight. Why are you calling me a bitch? I'm the butthole bandit. <laughs> <sighs> I'm a pervert with a phone. Fans on. How you doing? This is Adam Scheffler calling from ESPN Radio. Hello, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Listen, uh, I just got a uh, rather peculiar call uh, from a Broncos fan who said they were in your establishment tonight. Uh, I don't recall having not a one in our establishment tonight, uh, but well, go he, ahead. Uh, well, he said he wasn't wearing his jersey or anything, but uh, he said he went into your restroom and he defecated on the floor and left a note that said, Go Broncos, sign the butthole bandit. Uh, well, let him come back in and I'll put it back in him. Put it back in him? Okay, because this man has been calling ESPN Radio on and off for a year now. And uh, he keeps going to different cities, and he's he's doing this and also uh, trying to plug up their, uh, basically their toilets, and so they have to shut down. And he always leaves a note, and he claims he's left a note. Can anybody check? Well, I've checked the one bathroom. Let me check the other. Okay. But no crap on the floor, no seer. Oh, this is the butthole bandit, and I'll be in there to shit on your floor. Oh, you, yeah? You fucking watch me. Well, come in. I'll hit you with a baseball bat. Go Broncos. Yeah, fuck the Broncos. Go Broncos. Love that Bronco dick. Well, I'm going to, get bucked. I'm going to Taco Bell, and I'm going to shit on your floor. Well, you won't shit on my floor because I got the doors locked, but good luck with that shit. Bitch. Bye, asshole. Eat a dick. Good times with Jackie. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is uh, David Schwimmer from ESPN Radio. Okay. And I was hoping to talk to a couple of uh, your Panther fans, if I could. I'm doing a write-up on the uh, game tonight. Okay. Hang on, I got one right here. Okay. Oh, I'm not dead. No, it's the Apple Radio Station. <laughs> and he wants to talk to me. Adam Scheffler. David Schwimmer. I'm not dead. No. Hi, my name's Tiffany. How you doing, Tiffany? This is uh, Adam Scheffler, ESPN Radio. Okay, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, what we're doing tonight is uh, I'm getting some comments from some Panther fans. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put your uh, your wonderful voice on the radio, if you don't mind. Awesome. And, uh, like, if you want to give me two two seconds, I'm going to patch you in, and we're going to go ahead and have a little conversation. Okay. All right, give me a second here. I'm going to patch you into okay. the show. All right. All right, welcome back from the commercial break. Again, this is Adam Scheffler, ESPN Radio. We have on the phone with us Tiffany, and she is a diehard Panthers fan. How are you tonight, Tiffany? I'm good, and I'm still dabbing. Still dabbing. Still dabbing. What would you say the biggest takeaway from tonight's game is uh, for you? I think that they were lacking the fun aspect of what they usually do. Um, they they came out. I thought like they came out a little flat after that first uh, call that I thought was bad. That didn't go their way. I mean, you know, we threw the flag and all that stuff, and it didn't go our way. Even though clearly. It should have gone our way. So I feel like it kind of made them flat, and they stopped having fun. 
Okay, that, that's uh, that's very good. We've actually heard that uh, quite a bit tonight, that they just weren't uh, showing the fun that they've had in the uh, previous mm-hmm. rounds. Also, I just don't think they were used to that type of a defense. Right. They played a lot of great teams, but not a lot of great defenses like that tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, what do you think about the fact that uh, Cam Newton walked out on the press conference after the game? You know what? You know how he always says that um, he's like a kid. When he plays football, he's like a kid. And honestly, that's something that a kid would do because his, he wears his, his heart on his sleeve. Mm-hmm. And that's what children do. And I'm not saying he's immature or anything, but he was just really hard. He, it's a lot of pressure on him to be successful. And so I feel that because he didn't achieve what he wanted to achieve, and he felt like he should have achieved, it was just too much to handle, and he needed to step away from the mic. Right. And uh, what do you think of the uh, fact when he left the press conference, Mm -hmm. uh, there was a female reporter in the hallway, and she was trying to get uh, another question in with him, uh, Mm -hmm. and he actually uh, punched her in the face, and Cam Newton has been handcuffed and taken to the local uh, police department. Do you think this is going to fall under the same category as what Ray Rice went through? Um, he did not punch anybody in the face. Oh, yes. This is breaking news. It's going to be going out on ESPN at any moment. Yeah, he said he's from ESPN and that Cam Newton punched a female reporter in her face. <laughs> because she wouldn't talk to him. Are you being serious? Who is this? Adam Scheffler, ESPN Radio. And again, I do I do remind you to, to please watch the language. We are. Are we on the radio, radio right now? Yes, we are. No, wait a minute. Yes. Is, is that something that we should already know? Well, it's going to be going out on Sports Center. They're actually getting okay, the video. Okay, so put um, together all right, here's cut. how I really feel. Mm-hmm. How did it really happen? Oh my God! I just checked my ESPN app. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Do you see? Do you see the story there? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's how, how fucking du- that's how fucking dumb you uh fucking dumb you Panthers fans are because that never happened. Go Broncos. Oh, you suck. Go fucking Broncos. You suck. Yeah, I got a big you Bronco suck. Penis over here. Well, you had a you had a good time. I I do my and I listen to your voice and my penis is like twelve inches oh, erect that's now. Disgusting. She saw the story on the app. She saw a fictional fucking story on the app. Hopefully we're not interrupted because I turned my Xbox thing back on. Those little bastards. All of them added me. I, I didn't add them as a friend, but they apparently fucking added me. Um, no, Steven Sanity. Okay. He's got the Urban Dictionary definition of dabbing. Dabbing. To press a piece of cannabis extract known as butane hash oil against a heated surface of an oil rig pipe and inhale the smoke. These extracts have been or have up to 90% THC levels. It is the newest growing trend for cannabis connoisseurs. And Colorado currently has the largest no or the largest following to date. Uh, examples. Hey man, I got some dabs. Can I borrow your torch? Or he's dabbing some BHO. Well, it's like pure fucking uh, THC, it sounds like. Yeah, and that's what they call that little, little dance at the... It's not just Cam Newton doing it, either. It's a lot of other black athletes that are doing it. And it's like, dude, it, you're, you're getting away with doing drug references on the field. Fantastic. Yeah, but if you see Janet Jackson's uh, nipple, everybody has a fucking... Yeah, that, uh, who gives a fuck about that bitch? She hasn't been relevant in... I don't give a fuck how many years. Hello? 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 Yeah, you looking for a roommate? Who is this? Hey, this is Big Dwight. How you doing? I'm doing a kid back down. Why is this a private number? I got no idea. I got this, uh... Obama phone. They charge me five dollars extra for uh, caller ID. I can't afford that. Okay. And uh, yes, where are you located? 
I'm here in Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, we have a home for it. What's that now? Yes, I have a home for it. Oh, sweet. All right. What can, what can you tell me about it? Oh, uh, it's 450 a month and uh, 100 deposit to move in. 100 deposit? Okay. Yeah. And uh, that includes the washer dryer. Okay. And a carry CD. All righty. Uh, no cable. Nope. No cable. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, I used to work for the cable company. And uh, I can hook us up some of that illegal cable if you're all right with that. Okay. Yeah, I just run the I run the lines. I got all this shit to do it. All right. And uh, when you you planning to come and see it? Uh, well, I need somewhere, uh, you know, pretty soon. Uh, because uh, I, you know, I was watching the Super Bowl uh, tonight with my friends. We had a, we had some drinks and you know some shit happened. They kicked me the hell out of my apartment, so now I gotta find some place to live pretty soon. Okay. And um, you working? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I uh, I work as a janitor. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know where the uh, where the Walmart is? Yeah, the new yeah. Walmart. Yeah, but I subcontract. Like, I'm not employed by Walmart because those those fuckers don't pay their employees shit. So I go through a cleaning service and. Uh, I, I mop with the best of them. I clean them floors up. It's like a nice clean mirror. You can see yourself in them. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, you know that gets me uh, that that gets me about a thousand take home uh, each month, and uh, I sell drugs on the side. So uh, I got I got no problems with making the rent. Selling drugs on the side. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing too serious. A little marijuana, a little cocaine, not the hardcore stuff, you know. Oh no, 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 no! That's a little too much going on right what, now. What do you mean? That's what I mean. Do, does it help that I'm a Panthers fan? No, no, no! You don't hear shit. I mean, I'm not allowing that in the house. No, I wouldn't. Keep, I wouldn't keep the drugs in the house. Are you fucking kidding me? I sleep there. I don't need the fucking DEA in there. I mean, okay. All right, when are you going to come visit the house? Uh, well, when are you open? You got time tomorrow? On Monday? I will say tomorrow. What? Tomorrow. That's Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got to work uh, in the morning, but uh, like around uh, 5 o'clock, I'm, I'm available. All right. You know, I'll come, down, I'll come down there. We'll take a look at the place. Do you live there, too, or is this just uh, a house you're renting? No, I'm, I'm living in there. Okay, yeah. I'll come on down there. We'll uh, take a look around the place. I'll pick out a bedroom, and maybe I'll suck your dick. No, 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 no. No, 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 what? What's the matter? Okay. Uh, There's some crazy shit. Yeah, well, I appreciate if you didn't use that fucking language. It kind of offends me, you know. I'm a part of the Church of the Machine, and uh, we don't we don't deal with that bullshit. I like a part of what church? Yeah, Church of the Machine. What is it? Yeah, uh, Machine Christ rusted on the cross for uh, for my sins and your sins. The what? Yeah, Machine you Christ. It's, it's almost like Scientology, but uh, we're not as crazy as those fuckers. Uh, I'm lost now. Yeah, well, the only thing, the only thing is, uh, you know, we're not as crazy as Scientologists, but they require all, uh, all, uh, congregation members of the Church of the Machine, uh, we gotta suck one dick a week, no homo. Oh, for real? Yeah. So, like, oh, I, won't, wow. I won't be looking you in the eyes or nothing, I'll just tell you, I'll just tell you no homo I mean, before and after. You, I mean, I'm gonna tell you this. If you choose to do that, that's your choice. That has nothing to do with me. Well, I mean, you it's, it's your choice too. If I suck your dick, yeah, I, think I know. Both kind well, of at the end of the at the end of the day, I'm the one who has to tell you yes or no. You don't tell me what to do. Well, no's not my vocabulary, so it'll happen. 
Okay, so he says now you have a parallel. No, no, I'm a and I'm a go getter. I'm a positive person. I don't say the word. Yeah, no. well, that's you. I have my my vocabulary is whatever the fuck I feel at the moment. Yeah, no, you don't you say know? the fuck word to me, pal. You take it back. Okay, I take it back. Okay. Okay, but you apologize. Um, Hello. Oh, you hung up. <laughs> Hello. Hi. You got the firewood? Uh, yeah. It's free, right? Yeah. Okay. When can I have it? Uh, won't you call me back tomorrow morning? Uh, probably about ten. I don't. 11. I don't run your schedule, motherfucker. When can I get the wood? By my deck, you sucker. Your deck. <laughs> <laughs> that dude can't speak proper grammar. <laughs> Pull his ass but back. Your, but your deck. What you want, bitch? How big's your deck? Uh, too big for you, fat fuck. Hey, I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. Mm, 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 like this. Rabbit yeah. style. Go to hell, bitch. What? When? I'll take you with me. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Hello. Yeah, you got the uh, the F two fifty. Yeah. Dude. All right. Uh, you're talking uh, twenty two hundred for it. Yep. All right. Well, listen, I'm a Broncos fan, and since we won tonight, I'm willing to offer you about thirteen hundred for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Can't do that. Well, you say another fucking word, and the price is going down. Do what? I say you say another fucking word and the price is going down. You only get a thousand for it. You can kiss my ass. How about that? You can suck my dick and we'll host we'll hoist the fucking championship trophy in your face and then dab. I hear you, buddy. So listen, nine hundred. That's what I can give you. Cold hard cash. None of that Canadian I hear shit. You, buddy. No Confederate money. I got you. Alright, so when can I come pick my truck up? <laughs> you ain't coming over here to get in a truck. Well, like, you gonna give me the keys or I gotta hotwire the son of a bitch? You know what? I'm about to come over and just beat the fuck out of you right now. Oh, yeah? Where you wanna meet at? Yeah. Where you wanna meet at, man? <laughs> Go to hell. I'll, I'll fucking beat you with a boot. Oh. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, firewood guy. Huh? You got firewood? Yeah. All right. When can I get the firewood? When do you want it? I want it now. Okay, whoever it is, this is a bunch of bullshit. Motherfucker, because I want some wood now. I'm out of wood. I need to keep the cabin warm. Well, for one, I don't know about call at 1 o'clock in the morning. I want firewood. Yeah. Well, I got news. You either come bring me firewood and I pay you, or I come take firewood for free. Well, you have a hell of a time come taking it for free. I promise you that. Oh, yeah? Why? You big tough guy? You big, big tough American redneck? Well, I ain't a big tough American redneck, but I can hold my own. Yeah? Well, I'm going to come take firewood then. You're, you're fucking with the wrong person. I'm a Broncos fan. We don't deal with that shit. Well, come on. Just come on, all I can tell you. We'll deal with it when you get here. How's that? Come on. How many protein shakes do you drink a day? I don't got to drink enough protein shakes. I drink three. I don't give a damn if you drink ten. You're going to need 20. I drink three, and then I practice yoga. Okay, whatever. So I bet I can come take the wood. If it was in your hands, I would take it. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> 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 What's the matter with you, boy? You got something wrong with you? I ain't got nothing wrong with me, man. Yeah. I'm going to call you boy from now on, all right, boy? I don't care what you call me. Do you like them French fried taters? Nope. No? You... I like them French nope. fried taters. Mm -hmm. Sound just like you. Okay, whatever you say. All right, bitch. Well, I'm going to come take the wood then. Okay, well, come on and get it. Well, come on. All right. Are you going to be there when I get there? 
I don't know when you get here, trust me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Why, you got your wife chained up outside? Oh, nope. I'm sorry, your sister? Nope. Nope? What do you got? I don't got nobody but me. What do you got? I told you me. That sounds lonely. I'm sorry. I'm not lonely a bit. You said you got nobody but you. That's lonely. That's here right at the moment, yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about it? Nope, not really. Good, because I don't want to talk about it either, motherfucker. Good. Go get my wood. Well, good. Good. Is General on the line? Is that what happened? Good. Good. All right, yeah, more wood. Call 